Hello guys, I just wanted to give you a perfect example of why you need to be using the Uber Rider app to see where the other drivers are. This used to be uh, pretty common and obvious earlier. Now that the Rider app has been updated, less drivers um, are using it, especially the newer guys who never knew to use it in the first place. Look at all these cars. Now they're all hanging out around the downtown area. This is downtown St. Petersburg. Now it's 4.15 in the morning. Bar close is 3 a.m. here. So there might be a handful of employees going home around now, but not enough to sustain the number of drivers that we have out here. This is silly. All of these drivers are out here wasting their time. Now, you come over here to the beaches. There's me, all by my lonesome. Here's a hot area over here. Nobody. Residential areas. These are rich people. These are hotels. These are condos. All of them, this time of the morning, are uh, hot for airport runs. This area down here. All around here. These are all multi-million dollar homes along the coast here. And these people use Uber. So you need to not only learn your market. Everyone says, oh, learn your market, learn your market. Well, this is what, I'm, this is what I mean when I say learn your market. You need to learn where the good rides come from. When you keep getting good rides from the same area consistently make note of that and return to those areas at the same times and you will find that you get rides from those same areas often repeatedly these people over here even if they get a ride which isn't likely just because they're competing with each other how far away do you think someone is gonna go if they're an employee going home from work a couple miles so they're all over here competing for a minimum fare ride to get somebody home who lives a couple miles from his house or her house. Whereas over here you have people that are going to the airport. We got tons of hotels all along these beaches. The nearest guy is way up here along the coast. So look at that. Look, look at the look at the difference from this side of the county versus over here. Where do you think you should go? You want to compete with all these guys for a handful of employees going a few miles home? Or you want to go over here where there's no competition and people are going to the airports. And yeah, there's 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 going to be employees here going home too. But the thing is over here, if you only go a couple miles, say say I pick up somebody here, which I often do. There's um there's a few hotels here where staff goes home. So if I pick up one of them and maybe they go home over here, well it only takes me 15 minutes to come back over here and then I scoop up an airport run. So even if I don't get an airport run immediately, I can still get one soon. A short ride will keep you in a good area if you're already in a good area. In fact, you could end up making more money that way because you get a couple short rides before you get the long one. That's the little lesson for today. I want to show you guys this because it's just silly. It, it really is. Um, you need to get this app. You need to get the old Uber Rider app. There's a link in the description. You go to my website. I have a list of downloads. You can download it. Um, this has been incredibly useful. Uh, you need to avoid all the other drivers out there. It's crazy not to. Who do you think's making the money? You think these guys are making any money? These are ghosts who th still think it's the late night crowd. We're, we're in the morning crowd. Now. Once bars close... The whole game changes. Anyway, that's it. I'm done rambling. Like, share, subscribe. Leave some comments. What do you think?